In this video, I will explain how to customize the Linux Bash prompt on Windows and add it to a window terminal. The easiest method of using Linux on Windows is using JIT Bash. Windows users can download it here. I will assume that you already know how to install your own Linux on Windows. You probably want to change your prompt for several reasons. One reason is that the default prompt is lengthy and not meaningful. You may wish to have a more clean prompt. Another reason is that the default prompt displays some private information like your username and computer name. Because you share your screenshot online a lot, you may want to hide that information by using more generic ones or omitting it altogether. In addition, you can color your font and display the JIT, brand, uh, JIT branch that you are currently on. Linux Terminal has a default prompt setup, which you may want to shorten for clarity. For example, there is a long user and hostname part, which is private. The entire prompt can be longer if you are working on a deeper subdirectory. Our goal is to make a prompt short and private like this. This is the step. First, go to uh, your installation location of JIT Bash. Second, copy the file JIT prompt.sh. Next step, move the file to your user directory. Replace my username with yours. And edit the file using this code block. In my setup, I configure user and hostname as a bash at mingw64 with a green color, current location with a yellow, JIT branch with a cyan. And I made a new line before the prompt command dollar sign to write my command in the second line. For customizing options for colors and attributes, I refer to this page. You can Google more resources using keywords such as bash prompt variables. After finishing the prompt customization, you have to reopen JIT Bash to check the change. One more thing that you can do is to add JIT Bash to Windows Terminal. Windows Terminal is an awesome tool. You can open multiple consoles like a command, uh, command prompt, PowerShell, WSL, JIT Bash, and etc. simultaneously on different tabs or panes. You can stylize the look and feel. And to add JIT Bash to Windows Terminal, open Settings and copy this code block. To make your profile as default, you have to define a unique GUID. You can create GUID using PowerShell with the command new GUID. You can set up your default profile by replacing the default profile GUID and restart Windows Terminal. You will find that the JIT Bash is loaded right away instead of PowerShell. For more customization of Windows Terminal, you can refer to this official page. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.